In this Music Theory Guy video, we're going to be looking at passing notes. Now, one way to define passing notes is a non-harmony note that passes a tone or semitone between two different chord notes. Now, please don't be put off by that. Let's break that down so that we fully understand what it means. So a non-harmony note means a note that's not in the chord, and we'll look at what that means in a moment. Now, tones and semitones you may also know as whole steps and half steps. It depends on where in the world you are. And here in the UK, I would use tones and semitones. For the rest of this video, I'll say tone instead of whole step and semitone instead of half step. But they do mean the same thing. Now, let's just clarify what we mean by tones and semitones. So here is my keyboard. And on my keyboard, I've highlighted the note C. And here's the note D in green. Now, it's really essential you understand that they are not next to each other. There's actually a black note in between the two of them, this D-flat or C-sharp key. Now, but when notes on the keyboard are next to each other, they are the smallest possible interval or distance away from each other. And when they are the smallest possible distance, we would call that a semitone. So C to D-flat or C-sharp is a semitone. So to get to the D, it's another semitone from that D-flat or C-sharp to the D. And two semitones equal a tone. Now let's just have a look at these two notes. Here's the E on my keyboard. And F is directly next to the E because there's no black note between them. And because they are the closest possible distance or interval on that keyboard, we would also say that is a semitone. Now, if you need any more help with semitones, go and have a look at my video on accidentals and semitones, where it goes into much more detail. And finally, chord notes. Let's have a look at this straight away. So here's a piece of music. I've got the melody being played by the flute, and I've got some really bog standard basic chords being played by the piano. And underneath the piano chords, I've put down the chord numbers of the chords that are being played by the piano. Now, again, if you're not familiar with chord numbers and here I've used Roman numerals, go and have a look at my videos on chords and they'll tell you all about Roman numerals, chords and inversions. Now, in this first bar or measure, you'll see that I've used chord one and the notes in chord one of C major are C, E and G. Now, I've highlighted these green. Let's also highlight the notes in the flute melody that are notes C, E, G, or chord notes. And here we go. We can see that most of the notes in that first bar or measure being played by the flute are chord notes. Now, let's focus in on this note D, which I've highlighted red. It's not a chord note, so we could refer to it as a non-harmony note. And let's have a look at our keyboard. Here's the note D, which I've highlighted red. And we can see that it's a tone from that C to the D, and it's also a tone from the E to the D. So let's just compare that with our definition of passing notes. So it is a non-harmony note, that D, it's not in the chord of C, E or G. It is a tone or a semitone away from two different chord notes either side of it. So we can say that that D is a passing note. Let's also have a look at this F, which is not a chord note. Now, here's my keyboard again. It is a semitone from the E to the F, and it's a tone from that G down to the F. So we can also say it is a non-harmony note that passes a tone or semitone between two different chord notes. So again, we can say that this F is a passing note. Now, before we have a look at bar or measure number two, we can just actually add some more information about passing notes here. We could use the word unaccented, which means not on a beat. Or we could use the word accented, which means on a beat. So let's just pop in those beats of the bar. And you can see that beat one, two, three, four are on those red lines. But our passing notes are not on a beat. In other words, they're unaccented. So we could refer to that D and the F, which we've just worked out to be passing notes. We could also call them unaccented passing notes. Let's have a look at bar or measure number two. And I've highlighted chord five, G, B, D, as all blue, and chord four, F, A, C, all pinky purple colour. Let's have a look at that note A, which I've highlighted yellow. So here's A on my keyboard, and we can see that it's a tone from the G to the A, and it's a tone down from that B to the A. So we can also say that this is a passing note. We can also say, because it lands directly on beat number two of that particular bar or measure, we can say that it is an accented passing note. 
So what about this note at the end of bar or measure number two? It's a G, but it is not a passing note. The reason it's not a passing note is because we've got that leap, that jump from that G to the C in the next bar. That would mean it is not passing a tone or a semitone between two different chord notes. Now, here's a little challenge for you. Why don't you pause the video in just a moment and see if you can work out where the remaining passing notes are in bar or measures number three and four. So pause the video now and see if you can work it out. Okay, so hopefully you went through each note one by one and worked out which notes are chord notes, then focused on the non-harmony notes, and hopefully you came up with these notes as the passing notes. Now, if you wanted extra marks, you could have even have said that they were unaccented passing notes. Now, I wonder what you did with this particular note. This one is not a passing note. Although it is a non-harmony note that passes a tone semitone, it doesn't pass between two different chord notes. You can see either side of that F, there are two E's. Now, there's a slightly different set of rules for this type of note, and it's called an auxiliary note, or you might know it as a neighbouring or neighbour note or neighbouring tone. So just be aware that because there isn't two different chord notes either side, it is not a passing note. So before we go, let's have a quick listen to this piece of music. And I really want to focus in on the melody played by the flute. One of the key purposes of having passing notes is to add melodic interest into a melody. So listen out carefully for those passing notes that we've just identified. Here's the piece of music. So there we go, there's a quick introduction to passing notes. I hope this video has been useful to you. Many thanks for watching.